Hello! In this presentation, we'll be exploring one of the major components of graduate school applications, personal statements, also referred to as a statement of purpose. What is a personal statement? Students often have questions about what exactly it is and what information needs to be included in one. A personal statement is a narrative that describes your relationship to your field of study. Many people often find them difficult to write because they find it hard to talk about themselves. But really, it is an opportunity to elaborate on why you're interested in your field and clearly explain why a department should consider you. Think of it as a chance to promote yourself and to elaborate on your application materials. There is some preparation you can do before even starting to write your personal statement that will make you more successful. Let's consider what that preparation may look like. The best personal statements are a result of proper research and preparation. There will be two aspects of the statement that you'll need to be able to talk about. First, you'll want to be able to explain your previous research and academic work. Second, you'll want to be able to make the connection between your work and the department's research focus. We'll explore both of these components more in depth in the upcoming slides. To effectively talk about yourself means you need to do a little self-reflection to know why you're applying to graduate school. There are some questions you can think about as you're drafting your statement. What are your strengths? What components of your undergraduate work or experience make you an excellent candidate for the program? What questions have you asked and answered with your research? What are your future goals? Why do you need to go to graduate school? What contributions do you want to make to your field? Having answers to these types of questions will help you in convincing a department why they should accept you into their program. In addition to knowing yourself, you also want to be able to talk about the department. As you do this research, consider questions such as, what is the research focus of the department? What is the department looking for in terms of graduate student research? What research has your potential faculty advisor completed? Or what are they currently working on? How would you fit within the program and how would the program benefit from your involvement? What is something new or unique you would bring? Asking and answering these questions will prove extremely useful in the writing process. It also shows the department that you're taking the process seriously. Once you've completed your preliminary research, you can move towards writing your personal statement. Consider the traditional structure of a personal statement. You'll understand the purpose behind the research. A personal statement traditionally has four components. An introduction, a section that explores your past accomplishments, a section that discusses your future accomplishments and work, and a conclusion. Let's break down these different sections. Like with every paper, you want to make sure you have an introductory paragraph. This may be an explanation of how you became interested in your field of study and what you brought to your undergraduate major. Use the introduction to set the stage for what you'll be exploring throughout the statement. In the first half of your statement, you want to focus on your previous academic and research work. You can use your CV as a guide for what to discuss, elaborating on any projects, presentations, and other relevant academic experiences during your undergraduate years. The second half of your statement should connect your work to your graduate school and professional plans. Graduate programs often see graduate students as investments. They're willing to provide funding in most cases for individuals they believe will be involved with and make important contributions to their field. You want to be able to talk about the work you will do during graduate school. How do you want to build on your previous research? Why is graduate school an important step in your career? You want to be able to show that you put some significant thought into your future plans. Now, these may change during your time during your graduate program, but an admissions committee wants to see that you're taking the process seriously. Your conclusion needs to tie everything together. Explain why your experiences and future goals make you an excellent fit for the program. Also, this is a perfect time to explain why you want to work with a particular faculty advisor. 
Your ultimate goal for the entire personal statement is to make the admissions committee imagine you as an invaluable addition to the program. That's why they are so crucial to the application process. Some important notes. In concluding this presentation, there are some important points that I want to leave you with. First, make sure to give yourself enough time to write your personal statements. Students often make the mistake of waiting until the last minute, and an admissions committee will be able to tell if little thought was put into a statement. Instead, creating an outline and drafting your main points will ensure you cover all the necessary topics. Also, contact the CCD or the Writing Center to review your drafts. Second, do not take a one-size-fits-all approach to your personal statement. Each program should receive a statement that was written especially for it. This applies to the part in which you connect your research to the work of the department. Third, some programs will require two separate statements or narratives, a personal statement and a research statement. If they do this, you'll want to consider many of the same questions that were posed in this presentation. This concludes this presentation on personal statements. I hope you found it helpful for your graduate school application process. If you have any questions, please contact the Center for Career Development.